Many atomic tests rely on dependencies in order to run. We call these prerequisites, and they may require a tester to install certain third-party software, elevate their privilege level, or make other changes to the environment in which they are running tests. You can find these prerequisites in the dependencies section of a test's YAML file. As we showed in the previous video, Invoke Atomic shows dependencies when you run the verbose show details command as well. Invoke Atomic supports both the ability to check if a test requires any dependencies and also to install or configure those prerequisites. In today's video, we're going to demonstrate both of those features in a few different contexts. We'll start by showing what happens when you run the check prereqs command for a test that doesn't have any dependencies or that has dependencies that already exist in your environment. We'll then show how you can list all of the prereqs associated with all of the tests for a technique. Next, we'll show you an edge case where prereqs exist but require manual configuration. Finally, we'll demonstrate how you can automate the installation of dependencies under normal conditions. We'll start by listing the brief details for all tests associated with T1003 credential dumping and choosing a test for which we already meet all the dependencies. The command schema for this feature follows a pretty simple pattern. You start with invoke atomic test plus the attack technique ID plus the test numbers switch and finally the check prereq switch. When you run this command, you can see that PowerShell has informed us that the prerequisites are already met. You can check for all prerequisites for every test for a given technique by using a similar command, invoke atomic test plus the attack technique ID plus check prereqs. Now we can see all the dependencies for every test and we can now pick one that we know has dependencies associated with it. As a sidebar, the red text is informing us that those tests are for techniques that only work on Linux. We're going to check for prereqs for a test 14 because we know that its dependencies require manual intervention. As you can see, the check prereqs command informs us that we need to have a certain file written to disk and, importantly, that the computer needs to be domain joined. So let's run the get prereqs command. As you can see, this command failed partially because domain joining must be done manually. Now, let's finally do a test that A has unsatisfied prerequisites and B has prerequisites that Invoke can actually install. So we'll run the get prereqs command for test number nine, which requires the installation of Mimikatz as a prerequisite. Once it's downloaded, PowerShell will inform us that the prerequisites are successfully met. Now for our next video, we can finally move on to the part where we run an actual atomic test.